good morning friends in this tutorial i am going to discuss about the data preprocessing and its need in ai and data science this is my third tutorial that is part of my online video series on ai and data science in this tutorial i shall cover the following points first is the data preprocessing what is the data preprocessing and second point is the need of data preprocessing and third point is the major steps of the data preprocessing let's get started with this tutorial first i will discuss what is the data preprocessing the data preprocessing is the process of transforming the raw data into the useful and efficient format generally the raw, raw data is not in the proper format so we need to transform the raw data into the such format that can be utilized for machine learning and data analytics models in simple words we can say the data preprocessing is a step that takes the raw data and transform it into the format that can be easily understood by the machine learning and data analytics models so the data after the after applying the preprocessing algorithm can be effectively utilized for the data mining machine learning and data science tasks so you might have heard the phrase the garbage in garbage out as here we can see the diagram if we feed the garbage data into our machine learning models we will always get the garbage re result so so means the data should be very clean and the, in the proper format if we want to use that data for our machine learning models or any other data analytics models generally what happens if we use the bad or dirty data to train our model we will always end up with a bad improperly trained model that would not be as much as effective as it should be for data analysis or the prediction the generally the data is often collected from the different sources by the different humans that's why generally the data is not in proper format as it should be due to the collection of the data by the different peoples the data might have the different formats and as a result of which the data set may contain the missing values it may also contain manual input errors as well as the data may also have the duplicate data or the repetition of data and sometimes in the same thing may also be described by the different names by the different peoples here we have the data in the tabular form this data is raw data this has not been transformed in the uh, proper format by applying the data preprocessing techniques as here we can see the four columns the three columns the first three columns represent the independent features and the last one online super variable or the last column represent the dependent feature why do we call it dependent feature and the first three column the independent features as the online shopper the last column whether the person will go for online shopping or not would depend upon these first three features the region age and income the which region the person belongs to and how old the person is and what is his or her income is we shall decide whether the person will go for online shopping or not so that's why the last column is known as the dependent feature and the first three columns is known as the independent feature and here we can see in the data the in the age variable in the seventh row there is a one missing value as well as in the income column and in fifth row there is another missing value so in this data set we have the two missing values so data is not proper means it contains some missing values so we need to remove either uh, need to remove this data or we need to replace the missing value by the mean values so in the next slide we can see the important step of data preprocessing we have the seven important steps of the data preprocessing first is to acquire the data set and second is to import all the crystal libraries means if you want to process the data 
we need to import all the crystal li libraries like pandas numpy cbon sklearn means all such kind of libraries are needed to be imported to process or to work on the data then next step is to import the data set once the data set is imported into the jupyter environment we need to identify and handle the missing values as we have seen in our previous slide the raw data contains some missing values so the missing values need to be uh, sorted out or missing values need to be replaced by their mean values and next step is encoding the categorical data as you can see in this table form we can see from this table that we have the two categorical variables the region variable as well as the online super variable so in these two columns we have the categorical data why do we call it categorical as in the region variable we can see the region variable has the three categories of the countries india brazil and usa as well as online super has the two categories no or yes here these two columns are represented in categories means we, uh, the data is in categorical form means these, are, these two columns are represented in the categories of the uh, countries the region is region variable is representing the categories of the country and the online super variable is representing the category of yes or no so that's why uh, these two columns are known as the categorical data the machine learning models do not process such kind of data the machine learning models only process the data which is available in the numerical form so we need to convert the categorical data into the numerical form so next step is splitting the data set once we have the data ready means all the data uh, has been cleaned the whatever the uh, means uh, we have the categorical data has been transformed into the numerical form once we have the data set ready then we would split it into the training set and testing set uh, generally the 80% uh, of data is used for training the models and 20% of data is used for testing the models and next is the feature scaling generally what hap happens the data uh, is means feature scaling is performed on data what is the feature scaling feature scaling is used to normalize the range of the independent variables or the features of data it is generally done to represent the features on the same scale as we can see here the age has the different range the minimum value of the age is 32 and the maximum value of age is 53 similarly the in the income column also the minimum range is 57600 and the maximum value is 94800 the both the columns age column as well as the income column has the different ranges so uh, the data uh, machine learning mo model cannot process such kind of data uh, which has the different ranges so we need to normalize the data we need to bring all the data onto the same scale means that means between 0 and 1 so feature scaling is done to bring all the data onto the same scale generally the data is brought between the 0 and 1 thanks thanks everyone in my next tutorial i shall cover the implementation part of the data preprocessing using python and if you really like this video and if you want me to make more such videos on ai and data science kindly like and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the personalized notification about my upcoming videos thanks again